guys, welcome to Amazing Engineering and today in this MATLAB tutorial we will see how to define a static and dynamic analysis of a robot. As first we have to define the robot link using the Dynavit and Artenbeck parameters, in this case in a standard configuration, and then, we, and then we, we can create a robot variable using the command serial link. In the static analysis we have to calculate the torque to, uh, to be applied on the joints of the robot in order uh, to have a static configuration. As, as first, we have to define the position vectors of the link, the force and the torque vector applied, applied on the end effector, the z axis versor, then the joint variables in the configuration of the static analysis. Then, using these variables, we can define the rotation matrix for each couple of joint, but uh, because in this case we don't need an homogeneous uh, matrix, we use the command t rot z in order to create an homogeneous rotation matrix along the z-axis, and uh, we will take only the rotation part of the matrix using the command tr2rt. Now we can calculate uh, the force and torque vectors of the joints using uh, these equations and using the torque vector we can calculate the torque to be applied to the joints of the robot in order to have a static configuration. We are using the torque vector to calculate the torque because in this case we are considering a robot made up by only rotary joints. Instead we can use the force vector while, uh, when we are considering a prismatic joint. Now in the dynamic analysis we have to calculate the torque to be applied to the joints of the robot in order to make it able to make a certain trajectory. Because we are considering a fixed basement, the linear and angular velocity and acceleration of, uh, of the basement are equal to zero. Then we can define the gravity vector of the case and, and the, motor, the motor and the link mass of the robot. Now we define the position or center of mass of the links. Except the first link, the other center of mass are considered are considered uh, coincident uh, with, the with the origin of the coordinate system of the link and uh, if uh, we assume point mass, the, in the inertia tensor rela related to, to the center of mass of the link are all, are all zero metrics. Now we have to define the trajectory of the robot, in this case a cubic trajectory. We can also calculate the joint variables vector in the initial and final position using the command ikin. Then we can define a time vector in order to plot the trajectory using the command jtrage, as we did in the previous video. Now we can calculate the trajectory coefficients, assuming that the velocity in the initial time is equal to zero, so the variable c is equal to zero too. Then uh, we define the force and torque vector applying the end effector of the robot, in this case uh, are zero vector, and uh, the k variable is a counter variable that uh, will be used later. Will be used later. Now we can define uh, a force cycle in order to use uh, the Newton Eulero method based on uh, a forward and and uh, inverse uh, iteration. We define the position, velocity and acceleration vectors of the, of the trajectory. So we can define the joint variables velocity and acceleration using, its, using their components. Then we define the rotation matrix of the joints as we did in the static analysis, but in this case we also need the transposed matrix. And now we can start uh, with the forward iteration of uh, Newton Eulero method. So we start from the basement of the robot uh, and uh, we use these equations for each link uh, in order to calculate the force and uh, 
torque back uh, the force and torque applied on the joints we repeat this equation until the until the end effector of the robot until to reach the end effector and in the inverse iteration we use the torque and force vectors we have calculated in the forward iteration in order to calculate the torque to be applied on the on the joints of the robot you during the robot motion again we use the torque vector if we are considering a, a rotary joint or the force vector if we are considering a prismatic joint at the end of calculation we can save the values of the of the torque calculated in each time interval on the trajectory inside these vectors where we are using the counter variable k we had defined before after that we can plot the torque applied on each joint during the robot during the robot motion so let's run the simulation this is the trajectory of the robot and uh, these are the torque applied uh, on the joints uh, during the robot motion well this is all for today i invite you to subscribe on my channel and see you for the next video